Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to creating a basic river in TerraGen 4. We'll look at creating a path for the water, displacing the bed, and marking out the banks. It's important to note that rivers in TerraGen are easiest to work with when they're flat. Making rivers and streams that flow downhill is much more difficult, and they don't often come out very well. That's because flat rivers can use the built-in lake object, as we'll see in just a moment. To start out, we'll create a simple shape shader which is going to be a mask for our river. We'll make it long and thin at 100 by 2000 meters and add a smooth step edge profile with an edge width of 100%. To see this better, we can add a new surface layer which we'll call river banks test. And we can turn on the test color. Then we're going to mask this with our simple shape. And if we turn on the color preview, you can see it appear here. We're going to want to make this quite a bit wider than the final river, as it will form the mask for the banks as well. Next, we're going to warp the simple shape to create the bends of the river. There's a few different ways to do this. In our case, we're going to use a warp input shader. The simple shape will connect to the main input, and we'll use a power fractal through a redirect shader in the X input, connected as the warper. preview what we're doing here, let's go ahead and connect the output of the warp input shader to the mask of our test layer. And we'll rename this warp input to river banks mask. Now the shape of the river is going to be greatly influenced by the scale of this power fractal, as well as the displacement settings. So this is an area where you're going to want to experiment to get just the kind of river you're after. For now, let's go for 100, 500, 50 on the scale, and a displacement of 300 with a roughness of 0.5 and a spike limit of 0.2. You may notice the river moves away from its original position. You can adjust that with the displacement offset to bring it back to its original location. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to displace the riverbed downwards. We'll add a displacement shader right before the compute terrain. And we'll use our warped river shape as a mask. First though, we'll use a color adjust shader to narrow the river up a bit. We're going to call this river bed mask. And to preview as we're working, let's create another test layer called riverbed test. We'll enable a test color and this will be a blue here. Now we can plug this color just into the mask there to get a little bit better idea of what we're seeing here. Let's go ahead and adjust the black point up to 0.17 and we'll bring the gamma down to 0.52. So to draw this blue color just into the center of this river here. Once we have it how we like it, we can plug it into the mask of this displacement shader. And we'll set the displacement multiplier to negative three. If we come down here, we can see it's going to bring our riverbed down a little bit below the surroundings. Now we're ready to add the water. Go ahead and disable these test shaders. Come to the water tab and add a lake object. Now we'll just set the water level to negative two. And if all goes well, we should see our river snaking away toward the horizon. From here, we can use the two masks that we created to add more details to the riverbanks and bed. For example, let's add a new brown surface layer
Control call. Thanks, mud. And we're going to attach our riverbanks mask to the mask of the surface layer to create some dirt around the edges of the bank. Or we could do fake stones instead for a gravel bank. We can also add populations. For example, let's add some grassy reed type plants. along the sides here. We can keep them out of the water by controlling their altitude with a distribution shader. If we set a minimum altitude of negative two, which is just about at our water level. Then we can mask the distribution shader again with our riverbanks mask. And if we repopulate, we'll have some vegetation following along the banks of the river. There you go. You can keep extending these ideas until you have a nice river flowing through whichever landscape you choose. Enjoy!